Hi and welcome to another video of Dad's RC Hanger. Glad you could make it, glad you could spend in time to watch it should I say. Um, today we've got a little video, um, we're going to carry on with the ruckus. It has been a little while since I've done the video, been a bit crazy. But we're here, so let's get building. Alrighty then, so before we begin in uh, going through the actual build of Bible as to say, um, I just brought the camera a bit closer um, to couldn't be uh, asked to change the lens and uh, you're going to have to part with my horrible nails because we've got extreme close ups. Right, okay so <coughs> if you remember, <coughs> excuse me, um, we had this lovely canopy which um, um, I thought was like a space invader helmet kind of thing I could use and I obviously love the four screws that take it off um, and I was wondering where I could put the transmitter um, a receiver even <laughs> God, I don't know right but I put it in here so basically what I did is is I've put all um, uh, I think I put five in that we need plus the uh, S port um, I think you could probably see that I don't need to sort of show you there we go and that sits in there nicely. I made a nice little slit at the back so the cables look good. Um, and then on the underside, as you can see, all I did is I cut a bit of um, foam out very carefully and then tried to stick the cables all in a nice straight line. And that, that's where that lovely holes come into play underneath. <clears throat> so it's nice and flat, as you can see. And then they all come out. Now these um, are <coughs> basically um, extensions. That you can buy that's what they are um, and then the, obviously these will plug into the cables coming out of the fuselage which i'll show you in a minute i've got a little printer so i thought i'd treat myself and and, and put rudder and throttle ailerons and obviously the split cable already there just so i know what's what uh, now what i'm going to do here is <coughs> on the cockpit itself is that i will put one of the antennas uh, so it's horizontal, yes, horizontal. And then the vertical, I'm actually going to sort of blend them to the inner side of here, of the of the cockpit glass, if you like to call it. Maybe a, there is probably a name for it, can't remember. Um, yeah, and then obviously, I mean, if you wanted to, you could probably cover that, you know, with a bit of foam or a bit of something. Um, and then once that's in there, you'll have the antenna coming up the side or put it at the back and, uh, and then the other antenna going along the bottom. Uh, now, obviously, it's got a nice little, uh, nice little gauges in there. They're not well, brilliant, but they're they're good for what you buy this for. Now, I've got a couple of pilots um, sticking around the place, and I didn't know which one to put in, to be honest. So I've got him that looks like he should be in a jet, and him that should be. It looks like I mean, oh god, yeah, it's very bright. Sorry, I've probably got the lights too bright for this position. I don't know what he's meant to be in, but I think they're about the same size. So, yeah, I mean, he's probably a bit too big, maybe. I don't know. He's about the right. What do you think? I'll stick him in there. Hello! So you've got to have a pilot in there, haven't you? Now, I, th I don't know. I mean, it, I mean, this is only a ruckus. It's not a super jet. And he can eat. Look, look at this. You can see a hello. Look. Hello from Dad's RC hangar. Alrighty. Okay, Chris has lost his brain today. Right, okay, so that fits in there though. He fits in there. Looks a bit like Darth Vader. <sighs> Darth Vader sound effect. What do you reckon? I don't know. I don't think he should be in there. I think he should be in a jet. I think him, you know, he uh, looks like a bit of a, a warbird veteran. Maybe he is, and uh, maybe, I don't know. What, you what, what, what should we call him? Maybe you can figure a name for me. I reckon that one anyway. And stick him in there so then we've got a nice pilot figure and maybe um, we could uh, I was thinking of uh, I don't know making something out of foam or, or or sponge or something to go over this and it could be look like he's um, just look something in the plane I don't know backpack whatever I mean we okay we're going into details let's uh, let's get the thing flying that would be really cool but uh, yeah so that's that inside the fuselage if we can just see about in here right okay 
So I've got rid of the Dean's connector and sold an SD60. I've got some nice black ones because I run out. I've got black and yellow just for giggles. The ESC I've stuck with some Velcro there because it basically flaps about in here. I didn't like that. Then I've got my LiPo sensor, if you can see that, and that's on stuck on the other side. Um, and then uh, obviously I've um, labelled my, uh, well I even know one of the, <laughs> one of the labels have come off. So I don't know why, as I say, this is that they're not waterproof. Like, I'll probably cut it too short. There we go, done it. So obviously ailerons, uh, sorry, uh, rudder and elevator. And then uh, we know that's the throttle. Sorry, let's get back in shot a bit. There you go. These, so there's the three that I can connect. Now when I connect it to the uh, cockpit, uh, these will all lean forward. So away from the servo so it doesn't get caught. And obviously I can I can then lift so I get the cockpit. So they'll all just sit in there. They're still a, a bit too long. A bit too long. But they'll all fit on top of the battery anyway. So they'll fit in there nice and snug as a bug in a rug and boom apart from that one that's sticking out the side hello there um, and then obviously I can open it I've got to look you can actually see that, that I've actually got little squeeze points on there now where I'm I don't know if you can see that on the camera maybe you can little squeeze points I really need to put that tab tab at the back I can do that blend and we could probably do that today right so to get this cockpit out the way now this is going to be a simple build is she says famous last words because obviously the ruckus is uh, very similar to the riot in the way it goes forward. To t uh, sorry, in the way it goes together. Um, it's, uh, well, I set the wings around and away. This does feel very nose heavy already. Now, as for the battery, now I don't like these straps. I mean, I've got, I haven't got the thinnest fingers, and it's sort of trying to get the strap in. Even if I didn't Velcro stuff on the side, it's going to be really like, I'm trying to get in there, oh, battery. So I think what I might do is this takes, I think it can take a 3S or a 4S, I believe. Um, I'm almost sure of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a, uh, once this is all built, I'll stick uh, a 3S in there and see if I can get uh, the C of, C of G. And uh, once that's done, I'm going to cut these straps off and I'm going to put Velcro on the bottom, Velcro on the battery, stick the battery in. Uh, and that way it doesn't move about. Um, obviously, it depends if I need the battery right forward or the battery right back. It all depends on the, on the CG. So, okay, let's, um, let's move the camera back and let's have some fun building this puppy see how easy it is okay um, sorry for laughing I just uh, I before I started the video I thought I'd put this in its holder and uh, yeah a bit front heavy <laughs> okay goggles are on hats back let's get this puppy built now I have got my little uh, plate of screws my little magnetic pack that's got all the bits and pieces in as I showed you in the unboxing um, now I did. Oh, you know what? I remember the names of these, and I forgot. It's all good. We don't need to know that. That's for technical stuff. This is not technical. Well, it is technical. Right. Okay. So it says first on our little book of building, which is really great that you actually get this from uh, um, uh, from Century Century UK. Is it? I think I bought it for us. So I'm just getting a few spanners and screwdrivers. And it's saying that we need to put the undercarriage on first. Now you will need a Stanley blade. Uh, please be careful when you're using it. Don't hurt yourself. Because that kind of ruins the fun of the build. Okay, so on the front here you've got, you, it's the same as the uh, riot I think. There's, if you can look on the bottom there, it's just here. There's four screw holes for the wheels. The wheels come in separates same as the right I don't think it's any of the right in the shot and presumably these need to face forward something doesn't really show you on here does it say blah 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 blah, blah. legs are aligned towards the front of the fuselage it says it here read the manual okay so I need screws now in here are four they are four 12mm 2x6 screws, don't need a close up of that, or you know that it's the screws. And I have a screwdriver, in fact that doesn't feel that great in there. Um, one day I will actually be ready for a video. And look, I'm dropping my wheels, 
and then I'm dropping my screwdrivers. It's all good, it's all good. Here we go. Where's the fun in being prepared? Righto. Okay, so front. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick that in there and I'm just going to start screwing nice and slow gentle because we don't want to rush things and it all ends up a mess so take your time stick it in there make sure they all fit together because you never know they might not fit and we need to move it about now also try and it's always good to have a good plane stand I've actually used these two spongy bits there. I had two of these. I actually stuck it on one rod. So I've got two spongy bits either end and it's a bit more stable. I should really glue them or something and make it a bit more sturdy. I cannot get, for the life of me, a small, this size, plain stand. I've got a big one, plain stand, but I haven't got a small one. So I'm using my foam. Right, okay, so this is all good. As I say, you know, I don't cut this out, you can scroll forward. You know, this is basically to watch just, just me building the plane. And now you're probably saying, Chris, you're not watching what you're doing. Exactly, I'm not watching what I'm doing. It's because I'm talking to you lot. But I put them back, they're meant to be facing the other way. But that's good. This is why I said about taking some time, but you know, I can blame you guys and girls because I'm talking to you not concentrating but that's okay I didn't go full tightness and if I take it out slow you're not going to heat the plastic up and make it all loose okay, there you go so these go forward but yes yeah, some more people subscribing thanks ever so much I do really appreciate it if you are watching this video um, just press subscribe please it's really cool you don't have to push the little bell so you don't get notifications when I do a video uh, but it's just you're doing me a favour to boost my subscriptions, which is great. Because then you never know if I get oodles and oodles, I can turn around to plane companies and say, hey, let me open a box and build a plane, and then I'll send it back to you. Just to let you guys know what it's like. How easy is it to build? Is, uh, is it a pile of crap? Is it worth the money? Because I think that's, you know, we, you know you see all these glorious pictures, all these glorious movies, bit of sort of videos of the companies when they do their planes, and it's all prestige. It's the best foam ever, the best paint job ever. And you think, oh, got to have me one of those. Doing it at a sale price, got to have me. You get it, and it's a pile of poo. Not all the time, not all the time at all. You know, don't get me wrong. But I've had a couple that are a pile of poo but then again it's kind of fun because you you know you get to if you like building I mean I, I kind of do I kind of enjoy I enjoy this this is why I'm sharing it with you you know it's it's, it's a challenge if something's not quite right or if you want to customize like I've done with the canopy ah, canopy <laughs> that's what it was called the canopy um, try and get the screw in Chris um, you know, you can play about with that. You, you can make it your own. Okay, let's get that a nice little tight. Now these do, it's the same with the right. I was really surprised. I thought to myself, crikey, you know, there's just little four screws. They are pointing forward, so make sure you point them forward and then there's the screws. I thought to myself, crikey, you know, if that has a hard landing, that's the, the, them screws are going to go, ping, but they don't. The, the, uh, the uh, landing gear bends first. Random. Okay, right, now we do this thing the same as on uh, the right. This is when you need your standing knife. Now, if I can come over to... So I don't think I showed you properly on the right, so... I know I'm going on about it right, but that's made also by Century UK. Right, this middle piece here... If I get into the light a bit... Get into the light. You cut that out. So then the... Uh, elevators can fit in there. If you if you just if you follow the seam, and as you're following the seam, just push, it goes through quite nicely. So nice and 
and you should end up with a little cube. In fact, I just need to just a little bit off that edge, just to try and get it flat. So otherwise, you oh, stab yourself. Otherwise, you'll find that uh, if it's not flat, I've got some sandpaper. But if it's not flat. You'd be surprised that might lock it off kilter when you tie it up. It's probably not really, but I, you know, I'd rather take two seconds. There you go, and get it flat. It's quite funny when you cut foam with a Stanley blade. You'd, you'd be surprised in how how uh, fine you can cut it. Okay, let's get that out of the way before I end up stabbing myself. So we have our. Um, elevators and they're very nice too again once again you've got the plastic hinges um, two on either side uh, the paintwork is lovely on this to be honest with you so I'm really really happy with this um, and they've got like nice stickers on the leading edge so you know it's good it's good okay let's get it the right way around so that will be for the rudder so this just basically pushes in simple as that and we try and get it middle now with the screws that we're going to use they are that's that's on the next page i'm getting way too ahead of myself but they are the skinnier long ones you get two of those uh, but what i want to do is just make sure that i'm lining up straight before i put the rudder on or the as people say the horizontal stabilizer there is holes here there, 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 and that one is there. They are plastic. They've got little plastic surrounds on them, so there's not all foam, so you need to get out. Now it says in the Bible, in the book, stick that on, and then stick her on the stick on the. Um, there's a bit of foam in there. Stick on the rudder, and then stick the screws in. They call it the tail plane fixing. Tail, the tail of the plane. Yeah. Okay, there you go. We go once again the uh, rudder tower of the plane as they call it in the book lovely two hinges a lovely paint job and a lovely leading edge as well plastic this is i mean fingers crossed this is a well made rc plane now that just slips into there like that simple as that i mean that's pretty sexy huh it does go in nice so let's get our makeshift I, I'm a bit surprised. I, I, yeah, I was thinking, oh, scratched a bit of paint there. That was probably me. Didn't come like that. That was probably me. It's been about in the hangar for so long. Uh, what was I on about? Oh, yeah, I, I was trying to think why they want to put the wheels on. This is all a bit cumbersome when you're trying to put the wheels on. Now, let's uh, sit, make sure I'm getting this shot before I get shot. Okay, right, the, unless I can lift that up a bit more. Can I put that on that? So the towel. No, it doesn't. Okay, the. That's as good as you're going to get. You should be able to see it. All I'm doing, you can. All I'm doing is putting the two screws in. Don't force them in madly, but they should go in quite nice. He says. So, that, so let's try and find the, uh, that one went in nice. This one probably just needs a bit of a jiggery pokey. It's there, and there it is. Boom, down. Now, <clears throat> lightly, and you should feel it start to tighten and pull the rudder in. And I can feel the rudder going in. So do this uh, also, something I did forget, and uh, lucky I just realised, as well we're being stuckered. When you, uh, so let's take that screw out. You're not gonna, there you go. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. I'm not gonna cut it out because I made a boo-boo. Right, if you put on here, if you can see, can you see, there's the wheel. And on the wheel, on the tail wheel, you got let's see that shot you got a little there's a little uh, sticky outy bit really technical that needs to go into the back of the rudder so before when you're pushing the rudder in make sure that that wheel is there and then basically that fits into that little should be a hole in there I mean there's some tape on there I don't know where that's from I think where they were spraying it they've left the tape on but there's a hole in the back of that rudder that fits in to like so. So, I hope you all saw that. There's little things like this. I mean, I'm sure if you're not doing a video, um, it would be a lot easier because your concentration level is a bit better. 
that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it okay right let's uh, start screwing in I should be able to fill the rudder pulling in yes I can and let's do the back one as well do it evenly because if you don't you're gonna it's, it's gonna be you're gonna make things worse for yourself right that is I think that's going in now I did I didn't look to see if the hole was in the back of the rudder because that doesn't look like it's going in unless it right okay it's popped in so make sure that that tail wheel's going in when you're screwing in. So as it's, you'll see, you'll see the rudder coming up here. You'll see that slowly coming up. That looks like uh, uh, that is really weird. Now I don't know if you can see that. Okay, let's just screw it in before I start moaning about something. Like I never moan. Right, so let's pull that in anyway. But I'm a bit worried here about the tail wheel. And I will show you in a minute whether that's going to make a difference or not. I don't know. Well, that's yeah. I've probably got a bit too uh, haywire there. That's a bit too tight. But it starts that the plastic at the bottom starts to pull in. Let's bring it round to you over here again. Just uh, here and here, it's, start, it's a bit bowed out in the middle because it's starting to pull in. But it looks like that the metal they put in here is a bit too big or something because it look see that. It's flipping. Now there's no, there's no, there's no. It's not. I haven't attached this yet. But as I, as I put, as I see it around. If I put it down, look, it flipped back. Now that's not good. It shouldn't matter with the servos. I, will it? Will it? I don't know. I mean, it went in the hole. But it's all. I don't know what it is. It's like something's kind of not straight. We'll soon see once we get it fired up. But that's that's it. I mean, if I just touch it little, look, see, it, touch that, it flips, and it's a bit hard that way. Hmm. That's not good, is it? That isn't good. I've not even put the uh, the horns on. Connected the horns up. Okay. A bit annoyed about that. Right now, it's saying to connect the horns to the second one up from the bottom now also yeah that is it right so basically now I, I, I can't let's twist these in let's twist them in you can see what I'm doing over there you're good I'm twisting the horns you no know, whatever these are on the rods I'm twisting them in but what I will do I will loosen inside there I, I prefer to do that um, rather than twisting this all the way around so I'm just gonna I'm gonna twist it so it's halfway and then I'm going to stick it in the, it says the second from the bottom, there's four, so, so it's snapped. Now these haven't got little rubber bands on to hold them round like the uh, riot did. You know, ah, oh, I lied to you, I'm lying. Scrap that, it's here, it just fell to the back. These little rubber bands are good because obviously it stops the actual, the, the, the horn what holds on to the horn from falling off or for opening there would be nothing worse than you doing that and it decides to open up mid-air not good at all right also this one same in there this is the uh, rudder so I'm gonna stick that to I, pres I presume it would be the same two holes so this is gonna be quite far uh, in fact let's just open it up again he says, if I can, let's get me little doobie flips. Or can I just twing that open? La la la. Oh, okay, sorry, I'm going to jump in front of the camera. And jump out again. Right, okay, so let's ping these open. If I get me pliers in there, me backward pliers. On me, that didn't want to come off, did it? There you go. Oh, cursed with big chubby fingers. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's starting to rain. I mean, it looks like the season's over. Oh, their season's over anyway for flying, unless we get some really lovely days here in the UK. But you never know right okay so obviously I'm keeping the the uh, the tooth part the little single tooth 
facing down so it's an extra bonus so if it does pop out the bottom you've still got that holding it in little clip of that get the rubber little thing a little rubbery band stick that round so it uh, holds it nice and if I can do a close up it will be a miracle <laughs> can you do that there as if I just uh, do 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 there you go a little rubbery band that's all good now obviously that's way out of kilter um, it's way over but if I step in front of the camera again la -da 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 -da, I should get these out you know I actually thought to myself let's get my screwdrivers out first such is life okay let's in here we've got the little allen bolts yeah allen bolts let's ease that off and we will get that rudder basically straight as we can which is about there because the less we have to trim the better right okay so that's about there then i'm going to now i don't know remember i don't know if the servo is is level Stop right there. Hand me back. Magic. Right, okay. My little funky survey tester. Do like that. Uh, stick my battery in. These are pretty cool. These Admiral Pros are pretty cool. They're good batteries. I do like them. I'll go into a bit more of that because we have another build video. I couldn't resist. I've just cleaned a bit of the garage. Garage? <gasps> Sacre bleu. Hanger. I've cleaned the hanger out a bit because I had to have somewhere to put the wings and they're up there. I've made a little thing and moved that and done that and yeah. Right okay so I could just about see that because I'm blind as a bat so we want neutral position and and if I put it into the nicely named rudder making sure I get the polarity the right way around. Boom. Okay, now that is central. So that basically on here, if you haven't seen this before, one of my other videos, you've got auto, manual, and neutral. Little power into it. I use the um, ESC as a donor ESC just to power it off there. There's probably a di another way you could do it quite easily, but that's me. Then I put that into neutral, so I know that is center point for the servo. Then I can just make sure that that is as center as it can be. And then very gently tighten up the Allen bolt so not to move the rudder. Can you hear that rain? I bet speak louder because you might fall asleep. So hold, <laughs> holding that rod, I'm going to tighten the Allen bolt. Listen to that rain. So that's rather tight. You could put some blue Loctite I think, I think it's blue that can come undone just to tighten it up a bit if we think that it starts moving should put a ok that might need a bit of tingling but that's, we can sort that out so let's put it on auto and uh, um, you can see it in the video, so auto is going from one extreme to the other on the servo that rain is really loud I, I'm, gonna have to, I'm not going to stop and wait for the rain because nice sound effect you know just pitch yourself now in a nice cozy bed all cozy you know your favorite movie in fact the tv's off you're just lying there listening to the rain against your window but you're not you're watching me chris dad's rc hanger playing with his rudder Alrighty then so it's <laughs> inside the rudder the uh, servo is is if you can see in there, it's, I don't know if you can see that close, but it's doing its thing. It's going to, uh, on auto, it will go to its full uh, position, first position, down position, if you like to call it, and up position. And that's doing the right. Now that doesn't look too bad. Now what I have noticed about these, uh, I have noticed about these, I don't know if this is going to come up in the video or not. But if you look at the elevators, when it goes to its full extremities, it moves a bit. But that's not too bad that's down there. It might be just 
maybe where it's pulling tight. I mean, this is not an acrobatic plane. Let's do that. Let's, let's take that. It's not. An, well, I suppose it is. That could be acrobatic, but yeah. But then again, it's not a mega expensive plane. It's still money at the end of the day. Money is money. So you want, you know, you want your money's worth. So I guess it shouldn't move really, should it? Because you know, especially for a, a learner newbie like me, things moving in the air is not good. Okay, that's making a nice noise. Right. Okay. So that is once again. I'm gonna. I'm, you can't really see me, but all I'm doing is I'm doing the Allen key on the on the servo arm and the the elevators. I'm just going to make sure they are as level as I can. I've got the tester in manual in the center mode. Uh, whatever it's called, neutral. Tighten it as much as I can. Just grabbing the rod so you don't, you know, it takes a bit of stress off the arm of the servo and you can do it a bit more. Tight as you want to do it or your thing. Right, that is about level. In fact, it's a slight, slight, slight bit on it, but. And there you go, that is going through the full extremities. That's not a bad throw. That is better than the riot. That is a nice throw. I tell you what, I, I take it back. I reckon this could be a bit of a a bit of a throw about acrobatics. The only acrobatics I'll be doing is how many times it could spiral before it hit the bottom. Bang. Right. Okay. So I'm happy with that. That's that's fine. I might go back to here and tighten up and bits and pieces off camera. But that's I'm happy. That's. The, the rods are in and everything else. Right, okay. Oh, okay, we're coming to the wing. Okay, so let's take my battery out. As I say, we'll talk a little more about the Admiral batteries uh, in the next build video, which hopefully um, I'll do this week. And it's Friday today. Best day of the week. Means I've survived another week of work. Anyway, these are really cool and I'll, I'll go through it, but I like them. I like them. I am a, a, a Turnergy fan, as you know, but they're good. Right, okay, so we're going to spin around. It's really interesting, actually. It's really interesting. On, on here, on the picture, they've got the servo. Whether it's just testing, if you look at the back of that picture on the bottom, it's got the servo sitting on there. Maybe that's why they had the little hole there, because they thought they'd... Come on, people. Anyway, so, right, let's stick that over there. Stick it over there. Let's get my little block and things and stuff and bits and pieces out of the way. I have got the wings on my wing holder. These are in the plastic bags. They're not in a rubbery bag. Not rubber. What am I talking about rubber bags? in uh, bubble wrap bags, they're good. It's a cheap alternative to uh, the bags that you can buy. I don't know how dear they are to be honest with you, but you know, I'm, I'm sure that you'd go a bit more, uh, you'd spend a little bit more money if you had like a bolster plane or with lovely coverings and you know. Yeah, yeah, I did, did I? Yeah, I scratched a bit of paint off there. I'm sure it's going to scratch. That's the trouble, you know. I, I, once again, you know, I, I'm going to I'm going to try it with. Uh, I've got a plane to, uh, uh, which is an Acro Watt. I've had it for ages, and I knackered the stickers on it. In fact, I was just couldn't get it. So, for those of you who just tuned in, I couldn't be bothered to watch the beginning. This is not a ruckus. This is an Acro Watt. There you go, Acro Watt. Find me. And, and I've tried different things on here. Um, to, to see if paint and stick or to try and do bits and pieces but now I'm going to try and spray this but that's for another day that's for the winter um, so yeah so that's another aeroplane <laughs> okay so we've got a bit of a uh, bit of overcut on the thing I'm sure that's not going to do too much for the air there are already servos already connected and bits and pieces looks like a nice wing he says let's say right so it's saying to to basically it's the same 
there's the uh, riot. So you've got this bar and you've got this bit of wood and they just go into the wing. So on, on here you've got a little slit that, uh, that goes about halfway. There you go, just doing close up. Ooh. And then you've got the bar. Now, <laughs> we, re <laughs> we renamed the riot when it was in there called the Rattler. Now what happens is I thought it was breaking. Now whether this is different, but you hear that? That's what it does in the air. You think, oh my God, it's gonna break, it's not. It's this bar, it's not a snug, snug fit, as you can see. So it kind of rattles. Now, the reason it probably rattled, just thinking about it, was because the prop that I was using on the right before it broke, the prop, was may not be in balance. I didn't balance it. So the vibration for that motor was probably the noise. Now the interesting thing is now I've put a balance prop, a uh, master air screw prop on it, balanced, and let's see if I get that vibration again. So that's really, that's a good, that's a good, maybe a good little point there, that if you do have one of these, or the riot, if it starts rattling like that, balance your prop because you know if it's doing it that to that, it's it's uh, it's not doing much good for anything, really. You know when you say I don't need a balance prop, of course you do, of course you do. The manufacturers don't give you a balance prop unless you spend a lot of money, of course. Unless you've got a wooden prop, I suppose. I don't know. Right, so pull them wires out. They just plod out like that. One LED, one um, one aileron. Okay, and I'm going to just push these together. Let's get that in you. Make sure that's just okay. Could do a bit of just random tape, I suppose, if that keeps coming out. And push that together, and basically, arm strokes, knees bend, and that just goes together and as simple as oh, as that. There you go. Sorry, blinding you there. Okay, we had to stop it right there. Um, a bit blunt and a bit short, uh, because last night when I was uh, compiling the video ready to pop up to YouTube. I realised that uh, it was <laughs> nearly an hour um, and I normally try to keep uh, things like 30 minutes um, you know so it's a nice train ride or whatever so to uh, not to bore you too much it's, I do that enough waffling on but there you go so it is today is tomorrow yesterday when I made the video today tomorrow anyway so I'm gonna have to cut this and uh, make a uh, build uh, part two of the ruckus. Um, so until then, keep safe, keep flying, and I'll see you soon. Ta-da now.